Hi, my name is Michael Vernoff, and in this week's Torah Minute, we'll be discussing Parshat Vayechi. The Parsha begins with a description of Yaakov, or Jacob, approaching the end of his life and making his last will known by requesting from his son, Yosef, or Joseph, to carry out his burial wishes once he passes away. The Parsha ends with a similar theme, Joseph announcing the end of his life and also making his last will known by requesting from his brothers that they carry out his burial wishes once he passes away. This recurring theme throughout the Parsha left me with a question. If the name of the Parsha is Vayachi, which translates as he lived, then why would the recurring theme appear to present itself as he died? I believe that in order to answer this question, one must understand what the circle of life represents in terms of the Torah in general, and more specifically in Parsha Vayechi. It is important to note that in life, Jacob and Joseph each lived their lives and witnessed generations of their descendants. They were each charged with the important role of living by example and creating a tradition to pass down. Tradition, or Mesorah, as it is also referred to, is of central importance for the Jewish people. It did not start with Fiddler on the Roof. Rather, it originates from the Torah, and Parshat Vayechi is a perfect example of this idea. Through passing along a generation of traditions to their descendants, even something as simple as a burial request, both Jacob and Joseph created a legacy. This tradition and legacy, which is passed down from one generation to the next, would continue to live on and to transcend each of their deaths. Therefore, Vayechi really is a very appropriate name for the Parsha since it exemplifies and he lived.